Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI Toy Review. And today's review is in association with JediInsider.com, your number one news source for everything Star Wars. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at three new Star Wars three and a quarter inch figures from Hasbro. All three figures are based on the Star Wars Rebels animated series, and specifically, we're going to be taking a look at the fifth brother Inquisitor, Captain Rex, and the newest Ezra Bridger figure. Now, the Bridger figure is basically just a reissue of the previous one that they did, only it's got the added lightsaber accessory. All three figures come packaged in the same style packaging we've been seeing with all the basic figures this year. You've got the head of Kylo Ren and the ignited lightsaber up in the top corner along with the Star Wars logo. You've got some artwork off to the side for each character and then the figure is clearly displayed. On the back of the packaging we have brief bios for all three characters and then off to the side we have a look at the other figures that you need to get in order to complete the build a weapon um, in each wave. So all three of these figures are shipping in different wave so each of them come with different uh, build a weapon pieces so we're not going to actually be able to assemble those but it does show you gives you instructions on how to to do that once you have all three figures for each wave okay so let's get these open and take a look at what's inside so here's a look at the three figures outside of the packaging along with their accessories so real quick I'll just go over the the build a weapon pieces each figure comes with um, this one is I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be it kind of looks like you can use it as a gun it's got a little handle and you can put it in his hand now again since all three of these figures are from different waves um, we it's not like we can use the three different parts here uh, to build a, a one weapon but if you get the other two figures in each of these waves and you can complete the weapons and there's a little instruction booklet that that comes with each one to show you how to put it together once you have all the parts but this is uh, again I don't know what it's really supposed to be but it's done with a black and uh, kind of a purplish blue metallic pink color and it's got the little handle and it's a little bit strange uh, Rex comes with this uh, staff looking thing it's got a little blade on the end it's just gray plastic you got a little bit of gold here and it's got this translucent uh, fire Ball, missile slash thing and it's got a little hole and you can just slide it in there um, so again uh, that one you can kind of use as like a staff or something if you wanted to on its own and then if you have the other two figures in the wave he comes with you can do the build a weapon and then finally Ezra has this uh, battle ram thing I don't really know what again what it's really supposed to be if you take this shield part off it's three different pieces the legs this actually looks kind of like a, a bazooka can't really hold it though very well it doesn't actually have a handle or anything so again I don't know so real quick on the Ezra figure I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one again this is basically the same Ezra figure that we got before really no difference the only uh, real difference is he comes with the lightsaber now I think there's a, a, a small vehicle set with like a speeder or something that's coming or or has been released I'm not really sure but that'll have the lightsaber as well but I just wanted to get the basic figure so I could get his lightsaber because the first release did not come with the lightsaber um, unfortunately the lightsaber um, you know because his lightsaber is unique because it actually doubles as a blaster um, but you can't remove the blade so you can't really use the blaster part um, with this they'll probably release another one eventually without the blade but as it is you can basically just use it as a ignited lightsaber and then he comes with the same kind of helmet that we've seen with the previous figures now all five or all three of these figures of course only have the five basic points of articulation like we've been seeing with all the figures in the line you can do rotate the arms but there's no elbow joints there's no wrist joints you can turn the head but there's really no up or down movement you can do the leg forward and you can do the leg back but no knee articulation no ankle articulation and then the figures do have peg holes on the bottom of their feet. The Inquisitor does have a little more head movement than the other figures. You can kind of pivot it to the left and the right and even has a little bit of up and down movement, not a whole lot, but more so than the other figures tend to have. Rex. Um, Rex is a, a character from the Clone Wars series and as you can see the years haven't been too kind with him. He's uh, put on quite a few pounds. Um, Rex has the removable helmet. Now I don't think he actually really wears this in the in the Rebel series. I think in the first episode he appeared you see it but um, this is his helmet that he had when he was a clone trooper. Um, he's basically not part of the Empire. He, uh, his, him and his buddies basically went off and, and got de-brainwashed and everything. So 
pretty good on the face sculpt though i like it you know he's lost his hair he's got this gray beard he's got the gray eyebrows i like the head sculpt he's also got his uh, blasters he comes with two blasters and he's got little working holsters on the side now the holsters um it's a little tight to get the guns in there, but they do fit in, and once you get it in, uh, they're nice and tight. Now, as far as holding the blasters in his hand, he'll hold this one in his uh, right hand pretty good, but the one in his left hand, not so much. It kind of fits uh, loosely in there, so and depending on how you wedge it. Actually, it's actually fitting tightly now, but beforehand it was kind of loose, and I was having problems getting him to uh, continue to hold it. But And they're made with just a soft rubber-type plastic. Got decent sculpting. Looks pretty true to what we see in the cartoon and everything and then finally we've got the new inquisitor or one of the new inquisitors there's two of them but uh, they haven't released the other one the female one yet nice detailing very similar to uh, lightsaber as we saw with the the I guess they call him the grand inquisitor um, the first one who was killed in the first season but a much uh, thinner blade but it's got that round handle um, so you can pretend like he's spinning it of course you can't spin it because he's only got that five points of articulation uh, so really all he can do is just up and down blade on mine came out of the packaging a little bit bent again it's a very thin blade got, does have some flexibility to it got some decent paint work on the handle of the lightsaber you've got some metallic silver on the outer rims and then a dark gray and then for the figure itself again I think it looks good looks pretty true to what we see in the cartoon he's got white eyes and he's got that kind of a light green face he's got the empire markings on his shoulder and he's got these metallic silver uh, buckles and, and stuff on his costume so overall I think the figure looks good so I like the little sculpting detail with this design on his chest just a note on Rex he's also got some uh, wash work to um, look like the sand that's on his boots because the planet they find him on uh, when we first see him in Rebels is a desert planet so they've given some dirt uh, some sand look on his boots which is pretty good Scale's pretty good on these. You can see the Inquisitor is the tallest, then Rex, and, and then Ezra, who of course should be the shortest. So the Inquisitor stands about a little bit over four and a half inches tall, and then Rex is right about four inches exactly, and then Ezra is close to three and three quarter inches tall. New Inquisitor figure with the previous Inquisitor and the Rebels Darth Vader, and it looks like the new Inquisitor is a little bit taller than Vader. I know he's a pretty tall guy, but I don't know if he should be taller than Vader. I, I don't recall from the cartoon if he's actually taller or not, but I still think for the most part they look pretty good with one another. Here's a comparison of Rex and Ezra with the other Rebels heroes. Unfortunately, because this uh, new uh, Inquisitor is very tall, he does not really fit into the TIE Fighter that was made uh, for originally for the the Grand Inquisitor. But you see, you know, this new Inquisitor fly around in, in these TIE Fighters as well. But unfortunately, he's too tall to get him in the cockpit and to be able to close the top of the cockpit. Okay, so that's my view. Overall, I like these figures. I like the look of them. I think they have good paint applications and overall look very much like we see in the cartoon. Accessories are pretty good. Obviously, the Ezra figure is a reissue. The only, Again, the only reason why I got it is because I wanted the lightsaber and it would have been nice if they'd made the blade on the lightsaber removable so you could also use it as the blaster. But for the most part, like I said, these are nice figures. Articulation, obviously, I wish they had more articulation as I always say with these basic figures, but if you've been collecting these you know what to expect in that regard so no surprises there so these figures are out on shelves now we'll have a full gallery of images up at jediinsider.com there's a link in the description below as always leave a comment let us know what you think if you're so inclined please like the video and also please follow me on facebook or twitter if you haven't already i'll have links to those pages in the video description below and until next time i'll catch you later